Hello from Covenant Life Fellowship, where Ken Porter is the pastor. My name is Bev Porter. Welcome to Bev's Lifeline. Today, I want to talk to you about heroes, and I pray that you have a few heroes in your life. I certainly do. Um, My husband, Ken Porter, also the pastor of our church, um, is certainly one of my heroes. My mom and my dad, as well as my siblings and my children. But today, I want to elevate uh, my brother, Command Sergeant Major Oscar Belnaz Jr., for his service um, in the Army, in the Vietnam um, War. Uh, My family and I had the privilege of traveling to Washington, D.C. a few days ago um, to honor him as he um, had um, many of his accomplishments, documented accomplishments, archived in the Library of Congress. And um, what an honor that was. And my mom, who was 99 and a half, and my siblings and his children um, were able to witness such a wonderful honor. In fact, the Library of, of Congress um, opened up early just for us, so we were the only ones in the building um, for such this such an honor. Let me tell you just a little bit about my brother. Um, I'm so proud of him. He enlisted in the Army um, at the very tender age of 17 amidst the ravages of the bloody Vietnam War. He was just 17, but somehow, because of his work ethic um, and commitment to excellence, which we were taught by our parents, he rose to uh, elite ranks. Um, In fact, he, um, Oscar, was propelled to special forces in the military, in um, his status. He had coveted positions and accomplishments, which included Command Sergeant Major, member of the 75th Airborne Ranger Unit, uh, a member of the 1st Cavalry Division, Green Beret, Delta Forces. He racked up 729 jumps, 50 plus repels. He um, was a prisoner of war, missing in action, and a Purple Heart recipient. I think he has five Purple Hearts. But unfortunately, Uh, He continues to be plagued with malaria um, and scarred by Agent Orange, which is a hazardous chemical that was used during war times in Vietnam. His current battle is also related to the military. He's battling cancer um, and other ailments, most likely the remnants from the ugliness of the Vietnam War. So... Uh, we um, had this honor of being able to see how our government um, is aiming to uh, keep his accomplishments in the archives for all to see from generation to generation. And what an honor for my mother to have witnessed that um, during her lifetime. So listen, um, I don't know if you have had an opportunity to say thank you to your hero. Um, If you haven't, do it. I say thank you to my brother. I say thank you for his sacrifices that uh, we will never understand. I say thank you to a man who allows us um, the privilege of walking down our streets safely, he and others who have served. So to my brother, Oscar Bell Knowles Jr., I salute you and thank you for your service. And I love you infinity. Bye for now.